there are a lot of people asking me for EVO converts. Hmm. So since they have seen KS Motorsports is actually known for EVO converts. Uh, I have actually seen your article on Autocar India also somewhere. Hmm. Some years back. Ha, ha, ha. So a lot of guys ask me if I have a Lancer and I want to convert to EVO, then what is the possibility hai, and kaise hota hai, and what is the whole thing? So uh, EVO converts I don't do anymore. Means I've got one last package Sanders. rather. Yeah. <laughs> rather last package remaining. I mean it's lost its charm. Okay. The effort to put into it, the drive train losses now in it. Okay. Oh, sab karte karte by the time your car is actually on the road, you are only making about 250 to the wheels. Okay. As compared to a plain simple rear wheel drive with an SR20 is making 200 to the wheels. Right. So the Evo is, is more like a cult car that I have a Evo. Understood. So I was making them 15 years back. So it's a following Evo head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So yeah, if right. I make a Evo, sure, I still have one more set or you can figure out if somebody is selling Evo, you can buy it. But uh, Evo build takes, a good build takes about good 2-3 months at least. Okay. Yeah, it takes So it will be a very clean build with reliability and everything. Ah, means again, new, new fuel pump. Uh, in fact, most of the Evos I built, we put even new wiper motors. Oh, ha, right, you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we don't, we, I don't like to cut wire, so the connectors are original. Hmm. So, you know, if you sell a car outside Bombay City, any electrician can open and say, oh, it's an original system. So, it doesn't get confused. A lot of people open the one and get, say, hey, original, hey, good, or hey. hmm. They follow the system, it's an original fitting uh, right. engine. Right. So, other than the Evo, like you told, ke, uh, the W124 was a daily driven car. Correct. So, Okay, consider any rear wheel drive chassis that we can uh, find in India. Mm. If I want to engine swap it with 2JZ is the, uh, you know, want of people. Yeah, want of people. It's a stereotype that 2JZ is mm. mm. So, for example, there's a 2JZ engine. I want to swap it in a not gen, not any chassis, rear wheel drive chassis. Have you got a calls for that mm. uh, Contessa? Okay. We spoke about that also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Contessa problem is what? Is I'll put the engine in. Mm. When your ball joints, tyro ends all wear out, hmm. then what do you do? Where you go buy them? Right. So you'll have to build lower arms, suspensions, everything. The cost keeps going higher and higher. Right. So you've got to look for a car whose parts are available down the road in local market. Suspension parts. Okay. Engine parts don't go bad. Okay. Wiring doesn't go bad. So okay. what goes bad is the wear and tear of the of the moving parts. Right. Because of our road conditions. Right. So a prop shaft bearing will go bad, rear differential bush will go bad. So whatever you can find locally, it mm -hmm. can be built. Everything can be built, but the build comes at a cost. Right. And you want to put so much effort into building something for 200 horsepower. Mm -hmm. You build cost is the same, whether I make a bush for 200 horsepower or, or 400 horsepower. Effort and cost is the same. Same. So then you have to rather build 400 horsepower. Right. And going back to the old thing, 400 horsepower, every horsepower, 10 lakhs. Ah, understood. Yeah. So right. 40 lakhs of a Right. So you can't take, actually you can't take any... Anything and start building. Haan. So it has to be something which... Serviceable. Serviceable. That right. is the word. Okay. You should be able to service the car regularly. Right. Suspension service, not engine service. Okay. So engine, because it doesn't go yeah, bad. Engine is not going to go bad. Toyota or uh, LS3, it is not going to go bad. Right. And downtime is less. You can at least buy parts. I can call... It come DHL. Hmm. So, agar basic samjho ek gadi liya, and I just want to put a 2J automatic trans jo aata hai, the whole wiring and hmm. what do you think would be the basic cost of that? I don't want suspension extra, those all the stability parts. 2JZ drop in into any car, automatic 2JZ, 15 lakhs. Uh, with the whole cooling, yeah, yeah, yeah. other Start parts. Yeah, and you drive it. Drive it, okay. Yeah, 15 lakhs. Okay, and how much time does any engine swap take generally? Fitting the engine in is very easy. Because you've done so many, usually in 15 days, the engine is in comfortable. Okay. Wiring takes longer. It's about 3 months, 2 3 months. 2 3 months, any engines for basic engines. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Not complicated, like no extra horsepower, no big turn. You just put engine in, fire it up, and go home. Probably in a month. Depends what car I have to put it in. Right. Is a normal 2J enough power, according to you? For Bombay City, yeah. It's adequate power, it's got good torque in it to accelerate, you get that hum, 6 cylinder hum. Uh, 10 psi is good. Okay. You can push more, then your rear differential has to be upgraded. Right. Other parts have to be upgraded which has to send all the power down. Right. And other than this, if you want, there is a specific engine that I want to source. Okay. So for example, LS. If I want an LS engine, of course it needs a more strengthened chassis and everything. 
so how do we go about finding one buying one and installing the of course it's your work so so how finding and buying is also my work i'm okay. officially i think i buy them from general motors us directly yeah right so you are an authorized no i'm not authorized but i'm i buy from them i mean they they, they don't authorize right so you say anyone and everyone can even you can buy buy but it's just the certification to import right and what about reliability of engine swaps like how do you once you have installed the engine you fire it up you go around of course it's an old engine old a little old parts and something so how does the reliability so, go right. so what i do is why why it's expensive engine swap is basic things like a fuel pump spark plugs uh, wires uh, ignition coils i try to replace all of those so you know okay. you don't have to come back carry gaadi now there's a misfire mm. i'll use the car for a few days make sure it's okay take it hard blast mm. whatever i can think of to be removed repaired and uh, not repaired replaced removed right. replaced i don't like to repair right if something's gone bad i don't like to repair it i'll throw it and buy a new unit first time experience yes <laughs> so that's why cost goes up but then you don't have to come back for the same job understood so then it is reliable that part yeah, that reliability is of serviceable parts right